Hi, this is Evan from Texas Firearms. We have a little first impressions test here and of the Tavor, the uh, IWI Tavor. This gun belongs to my son. I've never fired it before. I've handled it a little bit. It's a little unusual to those of y'all that aren't used to a bullpup. Uh, I'm an AR guy and immediately it feels really weird, um, but it's got some really nice features. You can flip the ejection from the right to the left. You can flip the safety and the mag release. Well, the mag release is right here. But you can flip the safety to the other side for lefties. The barrel is removable, so you can put different barrel lengths on there. Full length Picatinny rail with flip up sights. They're built right into the rail. That's a sweet little deal. Again, with sights as it comes. I like that. It feels pretty good. It's it's pretty heavy, ten and a half pounds, kind of heavy, but when you when you hold it, it feels a little odd, butt heavy at first, but then when you realize that the center of gravity is right where it should be, it, it starts to feel a little better to me. We're going to load it up, see how she shoots. Don't have a whole lot of rounds, hence the short impressions test. We're going to fire a few rounds, got a 30 round mag. And it snaps right in real easy. We're going to fire some shots with the open sights. And then uh, switch to the, uh, the uh, strike fire from uh, Vortex. So, let me get my ears on. <clears throat> I'm going to take out a few targets down range. Remember, this is the first time I've ever shot this good. I've been instructed on how people typically use them, but other than that, I'm a newbie. Let's check it out. Feels like it'd be good and quick. Yeah, I'm hitting what I'm aiming at pretty much. It, just, it does feel a little odd. I said I shoot them like this. I'm not hitting anything. One thing I noticed, very strong gas smell coming out somewhere just very strong it's not blasting me or anything but just smells very strong almost like ammonia I'm gonna put the other side on it see if it's better than this one you know closer than the irons but I have no idea where he had it so we're just gonna put it on there and hope for the best 30 millimeter strike fire Tight, but not too tight. It's a little unnerving having the trigger right here. You definitely don't want to go picking it up like this. And I won't even trust carrying it with my hand in there. That's just, I don't know, it makes me uneasy. Uh oh, it got left on. The sight's hitting it. There we go. I put too far forward. Well, let's try it. She's pretty good. It'll just take a little getting used to. You wouldn't want to hold it down like this and shoot it because that ejection port probably scald the heck out of your arm, the, the brass coming out. All in all, I could get used to this. I wouldn't think I'd would like transitioning from an AR-15 to one of these all the time, so it would be either or for me. But I could carry this gun all the time. It's just a little heavy couple more shots here. I like it. I could get used to it. 
almost run it dry. All in all, pretty good gun. Okay, where's this? Get the one out of the chamber. There we go. Pretty neat. And they have the nine millimeter kit that you can put in there, and that would be excellent for inexpensive practice and suppress for low noise. It's got some really neat features. The uh, quick release slings, sling swivels. I like that. It's just a totally different thing than what most of us are used to. And it's got a one in seven, five, five, six barrel. I like it. We'll get some more practice with it and see how it works out. I said this is my son's gun, so I'll probably never get it back again. He likes it a lot. I'm gonna let my other son shoot it here. So let's see what I can let's see what I think of it. Your first time, right? Yeah. Oh I gotta turn the sight on. Push it and hold it. T up or down? You should come right on. Oh there it goes. Let me see. That is kind of a squishy trigger. I see what you mean about that uh, rotating or pivoting. Drive left. Still got good five, five or six. Oh, that is a lot of gas. Is it gassy? It is. It's like ammonia. It's hard to hold a uh, steady aim from it. Oh, it's up under the, sa or the uh, sunglasses. Wow. What if there's some kind of uh, lubricant in there? I got one more. So it does fire with the mag out. That's good to know. Yeah, that smells horrible. Right. <laughs> Can I shoot you? Yeah. Here. Let's go. Going? Yep, it's yep. on the red. Mag goes in here. Yeah. Charge it here. Yeah. Let it snap down. Just drop it. There you go. Sight still on? Yeah. Huh. Good to go. Those other brass are nice. It does have gaseous smell. Yeah. Woo! Stink. I, I don't like it. Smelly, isn't it? Smelly. I wonder if that's some kind of lubricant because I've never smelled anything like that. To sum it up, I think this is a hell of a weapon. It's very well made. It's kind of awkward at first heavy, 10 and a half pounds, a little heavier than I like. Usually if I have a 10 and a half pound gun, it's got a big fat barrel on it. But I understand, I think you put a heavy barrel on this one. Uh, all the controls are in the right places. 
the mag release take a little getting used to but uh, overall it's a, it's a fine weapon it's pricey as hell I don't really go for that too much but it, it, it's kind of odd shooting it to me it doesn't feel as accurate as like an AR but it seems like it's got more pivot to it I don't know how to describe it it's like I have a harder time holding it on target you know, maybe it's just because I'm used to AR-15s I don't know but uh, the gun's a nice gun and you get a awesome owner's manual with it this owner's manual has got some awesome drawings and, and uh, diagrams and I guess photographs good artwork whatever it is and it shows you everything in detail it's one of the best books I've ever seen on any gun but the price you pay for this gun yeah it better be better be good it comes with a cleaning kit I don't know if it comes with a mag. Did it come with a mag? I believe so. Yeah, I think it came with one mag. So it's an awesome gun. You want to try something different? It's a good choice. All right, this is Evan from TexasFirearms.net. Have a good one. Shoot straight. Be safe. Like us on Facebook and uh, subscribe to our channel. Have a good one.